Greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant, and this is the news from Gyeonggi Province this week. Sangnam City will become the host of an eSports arena in 2022. On July 22nd, Gyeonggi Province announced the selection of Sangnam for the establishment of this eSports complex for which four cities of the province had competed. Earlier this year, the province invited local governments to participate in an eSports arena development site selection competition. After specialist evaluations of applications received from four cities, Sangnam City was ultimately selected for arena development. Projected to cost a total of 30 billion Korean won, the eSports arena will include a main venue with 400 seats, as well as an auxiliary venue with 50 seats. Other diverse eSports facilities will be included in this four-story structure that will have a total floor area of 8,500 square meters. 계획된 일정 내에 준공될 수 있도록 하고 준공 후에도 e스포츠 대회 및 e스포츠 육성 관료 사업들을 협력하여 추진하겠습니다. The selected development site is within the Pangyo Techno Valley, an area with large concentrations of IT operations, including major game enterprises. Gyeonggi Province will utilize this arena for e-sports competitions and festivals, as well as for related personnel development. 종주국이라고 하면서도 불구하고 전국 단위로 균형 발전을 할수 있는 시설 거점들이 많이 부족하기 때문에 그런 측면에서는 시장에 상당히 많이 도움이 될 거라고 생각이 됩니다. The construction of the eSports Arena will commence during the second half of next year with completion scheduled for 2022. Gyeonggi Province expects that this arena will generate production value of 62 billion Korean won as well as more than 300 new jobs. Gyeonggi Province is operating a support council to assist new residents resolve housing issues experienced immediately after occupation. During the first half of this year, this council helped resolve 38 complaints in 12 residential districts of the province. Segyo District 2 in Osan City saw residential occupation begin in February. However, with amenity establishment still incomplete, new residents have been experiencing major difficulties, especially due to a lack of bus stops. After receiving resident complaints, Gyeonggi Province's Housing Occupation Support Council helped establish temporary bus stops. In the Ayang district of Ansung City, this council helped realize the paving of a road that leads to a cinema. Launched in 2012, the Housing Occupation Support Council deals with resident complaints about new housing in cooperation with related local governments, developers, and public organizations. During the first half of this year, this council covered 12 apartment and public housing districts that saw resident occupation within the past three years. The Gyeonggi Province will address mid- and long-term housing issues so as to improve the resident complaint resolution rate while also expanding the mandate of the Housing Occupation Support Council. Merchant Association leaders of North Gyeongsang Province's Andong City visited Gyeonggi Province to study its traditional market policies and were greatly impressed by the regional currency. At the Gyeonggi Provincial Government Complex, more than 30 Merchant Association leaders of eight traditional markets in Andong City received a briefing on Gyeonggi's traditional market promotion policies, including regional currency introduction, Market Commerce Promotion Institute establishment, and commercial promotion district designation, as well as shared economy policies. During their visit, the merchant leaders from North Gyeongsang Province showed considerable interest in regional currency, which was introduced in April, and the effects of its introduction. <laughs> Gyeonggi Province introduced the background of regional currency introduction as well as related future plans to these merchants. 
골목골목 뭐 평소에 이제 어, 장사가 잘안 돼서 어려우신 분들한테 어, 소비자가 조금이라도 한 발이라도 더 가서 어, 소비할 수 있는 그러한 역할을 해줄 거라고 기대를 합니다. This visit by Andong merchants also saw the participation of Gyeonggi Province merchant leaders. To date, Gyeonggi Province has received visitors from 10 local autonomies who came to benchmark these innovative policies. Last April, for the first time in Korea, Gyeonggi Province began operation of a special judicial police team exclusively for the investigation of illegal real estate practices. After three months of investigation, the province revealed the discovery of diverse deceptive practices used for illegal gains. Via bogus online job ads, a real estate broker contacted newlyweds and expectant mothers, using them to forge apartment applications. Using the bogus pregnancy certificates he obtained, this broker secured apartment purchasing rights, commonly known as tickets, for housing reserved for newlywed couples. He then resold the tickets, garnering illegal profit of more than 100 million Korean won. A group of conspirators also made illegal profit by reselling tickets for apartments reserved for multi-child families within a resale restriction period. Another broker, 53 years of age, faked marriage to a 29-year-old divorcee with multiple children to apply for an apartment. They schemed covertly via an online cafe. This three-month investigation focused on ticket winners for apartments reserved for newlyweds and multi-child families. 전수 조사였고 수원 모 아파트 등 3개 분양사의 청약 서류에 적법 당 당첨 여부를 수하였으며 분양권 불법 전매에 대한 첩보 사항이 있어서 강제 수사하였습니다. During this short investigation period, 180 illegal apartment application and resale suspects were identified. Of these, the crimes of 33 were confirmed. They will face criminal charges. The procedures for the remaining 147 violators will be decided following individual investigations. Gyeonggi Province will expand the investigative scope to other special housing supply cases, including those for disabled individuals, as well as to land transaction permit violations. Last November, Gyeonggi Province and Gangwon Province filed a joint application for the UNESCO Global Geopark designation of the Hantan River Geopark, which recently received a final on-site evaluation by related UNESCO committee members. Originating in North Korea and flowing south through Cholwon County of Gangwon Province and to Yuncheon County of Gyeonggi Province, the Hantan River abounds with geological and ecological treasures, including marshes and wildlife. Hantangang Jijilgongon is particularly popular in South Korea, which is the most popular in South Korea. When I look at the South Korea, I think it's a great value for the world. So, the Hantangang Jijilgongon is the most popular in South Korea. 세계 지질공으로 가입하는 데 저는 충분히 자격이 있다고 봅니다. The on-site evaluation of the Hantan River was conducted by two UNESCO Global Geopark Committee members, Jian Pingjiang of China and Margareta Rolfs of the Netherlands. These UNESCO officials spent three days examining geological sites along the Hantan River. We have two provinces in the geopark and also three countries. I want to know how to um, integrate operation of the geopark, the, what's the management structure. So we have some, some explanation to management. In addition to the geological and ecological values of the Hantan River, the evaluators were also concerned about the preservation systems to be used. Our Gyeonggi-do and Gangwon-do have already been able to do the same thing together. 같이 참여하는 우리 경기도의 연천, 포천, 그 다음에 강원도 철원국과 함께 공동사무국을 먼저 만들고요. 그 지역 주민과 함께 하는 다양한 그 프로그램을 만들어서 한탄강 세계 지질공원이 더욱더 국제적인 명소가 될수 있도록 더욱더 노력해 나가겠습니다. 
If the application proves successful, Gyeonggi Province will manage the Hantan River Geopark jointly with Gangwon Province. UNESCO's decision on the Global Geopark designation of the Hantan River will be made during an executive board meeting at its Paris headquarters in April of 2020. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.